Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Play video. Today I'm going to set up a little uh, system to smelt some ores in my other building. So I've already crafted a powered furnace, a magma crucible, a liquid transposer and a pulverizer. And two clockwork engines were quite good in the beginning I think. Or at least when I, I haven't tried them so I don't know but I think we're pretty good. So I haven't put in a floor yet, but I will do that later sometime. Let's see here. That's a pulverizer, then a power furnace. I will need to have the clockwork engines visible underneath these and I need to craft a wrench and it's made from bronze oh good hopefully I have materials for that I can place down this first though like that let's see here if I can find any materials some tin and copper so I can get a wrench and change the direction of the engine it should be in this chest I think Let's see, there's some tin and there's some copper. I think I'll need a little bit more. I think I had just enough. Sometimes you are lucky. And I changed out the wood on the bridge and made the pillars under a little bit different. So now they're fence like things there, made of cobblestone. So these engines work a lot different from other engines because you get energy from them by right clicking on them. And if you right click too much, you get hurt. Let's see here. Like that. And they can't, and they don't give off energy when you right click them, so you must stop right clicking for them to give you anything. And I should change the settings here so that becomes orange. That should be blue. Orange like that. And this should be blue there and orange over here. That's not correct at least. And this looks weird. Hopefully this will work. I thought a hopper would work, but it doesn't seem to work. Let's see if we change the top one. Okay. Didn't the hoppers work before? The. Um, what were they called? The force wrappers? Let's see if there are. We know those. No, I think Sanger has removed the normal hopper. So, I don't know how to get this to work. Hmm. Maybe from the side? Let's try that. Yeah. 
Let's see here. Hopper Pulverizer. Oh. Did I place it wrong, maybe? Let's see. Here. Oh, I placed it wrong. Let's see here. Wrong machine. And you should place it like that. You know it should work. The bad thing with these engines is that you have to be close like this to use them. So you can't really run around in the world and get everything smelted. But you can fix up some things in your base at least. Let's see, liquid transposer. I think I've placed them here. Let's see, bog earth is made from water and dirt and sand. I think I will do some of that so I can create some peat engines. I think peat is a really good starting fuel but later on I will use biogas or biofuel. I haven't really decided yet. Or maybe lava. Let's see here, what do I find? I need... What were I going to make? Um, yeah, peat. And I need some water buckets. And for water buckets I need iron. Let's make four water buckets. They're used in some recipes, so it's not really a waste of resources. Let's see here. Four water buckets, some sand, some dirt and some sand. And what was the recipe? I really like this function. It's a lot faster. Now I got 24. Let's make some more. Whoa. Let's see here. F7. No, nothing can spawn. One more time. Oh, and I totally destroyed the infinite water source. That was not my intention. And I must refill the buckets. Let's see. Like that. <coughs> I have never used peat or made a peat bug without the source block or the automated planting and harvesting block. So I'm just guessing on how to do it right now. Let's see here. Oh, 
I think it's like this. And we should have water in between. And I'm going to check if things can spawn here. Let's see here. Then we can put some here. Here, 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 and not like that, like this, water, water and water. Oh, I even created them. In the middle, kind of. But I'm not sure if this will work. I think it will. But I've actually never tried this. And you shouldn't take the water on the edges. Let's see here. I think I will move this row a little bit. So we get the free wide in the middle instead. I think it looks better that way. Let's see how much the engines has smelted. Okay. We have some ingots, 26 I think. I can't even see the color of this one. Okay, I almost died there. So, ten in iron. Iron. I think this should work for now. Now. What do we need for a peat engine? We need copper gears, copper gears, and some copper ingots. I'm going to check back on this later. But now I'm going to harvest the farms. And a chicken escape from my pen. Need to move him back in sometime. Oh! It has rained. These only get fruit when it has rained, so. And there's my main food source. All of these kind of berries. And I'm thinking of adding Essentia everywhere, or a mod. I think the mod is called like that. So I can give berries and such aspects. But I don't know which ones to give them. I think the one that looks like a fruit would be a good choice. But other ones, I don't know. And I think it would be better if all the different kinds had at least one special essence for each other. So maybe the yellow ones had the light and blue ones darkness or something. But I don't know. I haven't decided yet.
and I still haven't fixed my foam craft problem. Let's see here. I think this has grown. No, they haven't grown. Problem with the texture pack. I didn't know when the things are grown and not. And this wool, not wool, whatever we call it, cotton, grow really fast. Let's give the cows some love. I think they've all got them some wheat now. And now give the chickens some eggs. Now let's see if we can find the rogue chicken, the one who escaped. Let's see here. Come a little chicken, they can slaughter you. Found you. Here little chicken. Come here. Down into the hole. Okay, can I push? Yes, I can. So now I got some chickens. Look, look how much the um, onions is cooked. Or at least repunish them. I don't know how much energy this give, but I think it's like 1.8 or something at the most. So each engine of this gives more energy than a peat engine, but I have to punch these for them to work, so... And I think that's a hope. But I'm going to make the floor here now. So I'm be back. I will be back soon. So now I emptied out all of the dirt. So I'm going to run and get some wood. I think I'm just going to go with oak, and I'm also going to craft two pressure plates, so the doors can close and open out automatically. Or yeah, you understand. I hope. That's flint. Let's see here. Where's my food? I will need some wood. Oh, let's see. Is this enough? I don't think so. I might go with a spruce floor instead because I have a lot more spruce. Or I could be a little bit cheap and make slabs. Now I have enough, at least. I, at least I think I have enough. And I think there's an item from Tinker's Construct that makes kind of roads that you walk faster on. So I might craft some of those. You really should have a weapon in your hotbar. But this will work nicely. And I need to punish vengeance again. Okay, these engines were, were a bit more annoying than I thought. But they're still very useful in the beginning. 
And hopefully I won't die now. That was a close one. Let's see here. And then I need to light this up again. I'll see you when this is done. So now the floor is done. And I'm thinking of making that road thing from Tinker's Construct. And I think you just put some grub into the um, smelter thing. I don't know what it's called, but hopefully I'm right. And hopefully you can make it pretty quickly. But I think it's a very slow process of making it. No, it wasn't like this. Okay. I'm going to look in NAI and see. Let's see here. Uh, if I recognize how this stone looks. Here it is. Rough brownstone. Okay, rough chisels. Okay, then I'm going to look in the small books I got and see what they say. Let's see here. Nothing in this one. And I'm going to clean out my inventory soon. Nothing in this one. Let's see if there is say anything about it in this one. I hope so. Okay. I didn't find it, but I maybe missed it. Then how do you get it? If anyone knows how to get Brownstone roads. Tell me. Okay, you can chisel it, but you can't craft it. So, is it found in the world? Maybe. I have no idea. Or else I have to wait until I can make what is called Traveler's Paving Stone to get ro road-like things. But I would like to have it a bit sooner than that. Random drops. I think Flint should be in this just here. Let's see here. I'm going to keep smelting all of our items in there. So, see when I'm done with that. I just wanted to show you that this works. And it started to create some peat. So if I break this, I will get some dirt blocks and peat. Let's see if I can break any more without water spilling out. So about this one and this one should work. But still I haven't processed all of the ore. But I got eight peat now. That's quite good. Let's see how this works. 
I only smelt smelted some iron. Let's see here. We can remove all of our iron out of here. And put in some other things. Like tin and tin. like this so now we will get more things than just iron at least I hope so so I have one and a half stacks of iron there What do I need to get those? Uh, what is it called? It's a forestry thing I need. Forestry. Let's see here. I need one of these. So I need four gold ingots. A sturdy. Do chassis. I uh, have casing. Some glass and that needs bronze. I have a little bit of bronze. Do I have any copper here? I think I need to go mining for copper. And I think copper spawns pretty close to the surface. That's why I have gotten so little because I have mostly been mining. That's level, what is it? 10 or 11. So I should maybe mine at 42. 42 is a good number. And yes, it's a very good number. And I have some torches with me. Like this. And what do I find? I find copper. Nice. I have definitely been mining too far up and why can't I place torches with the pick? I think I have been able to do that before. And I'm sorry if this is boring but I need the copper and I should probably turn the sound up a little bit. Now I can hear if there are any zombies or anything close. And there's my shovel that I will need sometimes. Like now. To break this gravel. And here we have amber. You can make some cool looking block with amber. You can kind of see through them. And this is... what is this? Is it... yes, iron. I don't even recognize this for ores right now. But I would like to get some plugins or something to the texture pack so it encumbers my mods too. So the world would look a b bit better with it. But I don't know where to find them. And here we got some tin, maybe? And some more copper. So 42 is a really good level. What did I find here? Some dirt. Let's see here. 18, 8 copper. I should probably get some more copper. And I found lava. That's pretty unusual at least this level. I 
we should probably make a road over it. And you place block faster when you walk sideways. I think it was. It was something weird like that. Let's see here. Now this road is safe. And I will probably find some lava there. And now one of my neighbors plays really loud music. So I don't know if you will be able to hear it or not. Hopefully this mic will only pick up my voice and not that music. Some more coal. You can never have too much coal. But it takes up a lot of space. So I might install factorization or what it's called. So I get barrels. Or what was it called? That you when you store items with bytes and such. But I can't use it in the beginning. Because I need some storage options. Or energy providing options. Because everything you store takes a bit, little bit of energy. So we'll have, need to have some automated farms. Some tree farms or something. Probably a uh, what is it? Five by four by three tree farm. It costs like hundred and fifty copper or something. And remember, it's always good to dig on the sides of ore you find because ore can spawn diagonal from each other. Just a little tip, and branch mining is the best way to mine. And I prefer having three blocks in between each branch. Some people have more, some people have less, but I think three is the perfect amount of blocks between. And I think I found some other kind of copper. When I generated this world, I ha hadn't disabled the ore generation from Tinker Construct, or copper and tin, so only would have the forestry. But I did it later. Let's see, I can throw out some cobblestone. So I still find sometimes some copper or tin that looks different because it was spawned when I created the world but now we have 29 copper so that should be enough I noticed that this episode is going a little bit long so I'm going to stop the recording now and I, I will see you next time.